so the the main challenge is getting um access to energy for for the community so getting power to people where and when it's needed for education health um access to water social protection and overall community development the economic limitation of providing energy in sudan is huge while energy is more of a need than a want so for for us it's bringing the partners together and within unicef sudan there's different sections to work and implement uh projects together that are revolving around um energy or solar energy in the education section we are doing the can't wait to learn project which is based on educating children using tablets so getting being able to provide tablets means we need to provide energy so that we can charge these tablets at rural areas um so we're putting in solar units solar energy um units so that we can charge the tablets but also for lighting purposes last year we were part of the uh, access to modern energy as well and we did a lighting for learning project as a complementary for our country to learn Uh, which is providing households with lighting units so that children would actually know how to write using a pen and paper rather than just learning how to write on a tablet. So I think access to sustainable and modern energy creates um a holistic impact on social well-being as a whole for the society. But for, for uh, again from the unicef approach i think the direct and most visible beneficiaries in our projects are the children so in our existing projects is the children but it does have a more um inclusive benefits for the communities that still don't have access to modern energy on the in the 21st century i think energy is an enabler to all components and what i would love to see is uh people having more access to energy um and that will definitely impact uh their education their health their protection um and their access to to clean water <laughs>